If you're thinking about moving to New Brunswick but don't know where to start, stay tuned! Hi everyone, I am Coco Kenny. I am a realtor in Fredericton, New Brunswick. In this video, I have got the five things you need to do before you starting to looking a home in New Brunswick. There are so many reasons to move to New Brunswick. Some people choose to live here to be close to family or for an affordable lifestyle. Others because of our basic universal government-funded healthcare and our excellent education system. Still others choose New Brunswick to be minutes away from ocean, lakes, rivers, and trails as well as lively urban centers and smaller friendly communities. Your first step in moving to New Brunswick is to do your research. Number one, research your new location. Maybe you already have a home lineup, maybe you don't. Either way, research is your best ally before you relocate somewhere new. What are the options for entertainment and leisure at the New Brunswick? If you have children, what are your school options? Some people relocate already with a job offer in the new city, while some are just looking for a change in lifestyle. If you don't have a secure job in New Brunswick yet, suggest start to look for a job before you move so you will not have a financial stress after you move to New Brunswick. Number two, choose a neighborhood. It is not so difficult to choose a neighborhood. If you are moving to New Brunswick for a particular job, it is easy. You just relocate whichever area close to your work or 30 to 45 minutes from your work or whatever ideal commute is for you. It is possible to physically visit your new home, neighborhood before you move in. I highly recommend it to see the area physically so you can choose whichever neighborhood speaks to you. But if it isn't, Google Maps might give you a good idea of what to expect. Have a look at the house around you. Where are the closest amenities? Is it easy to get around by car, walking and or transit? A lot of rural areas are getting high-speed internet, but if internet speeds are the determining factor for your move, you definitely need to research this ahead of time. As a realtor, I can point you the right direction, but I can't do that research for you. The third thing when you move to New Brunswick is that your expectations are realistic. Homes available in your price point is available or not. If it is not available, what you should consider either increase your budget or pivot your wants and needs, like a number of bedroom or bathroom, size of the house or area or neighborhood. This is a very important one, especially in this crazy seller's market. I would suggest to go to website like realtor.ca to look around if your desirable home and your price point is available or not. Most of the people who come to me already have a desirable home in their mind and the budget. In this day of 2022, we don't need a realtor to look to find a house, but I will say though, some of the information on the website is sometimes delayed. So I highly recommend it to connect with the local realtor for you to connect with the MLS systems Fredericton. I can set up the automated email system with your budget and the criteria. So anything you hit on the MLS listings Fredericton that meet your criteria, the system will give us a notification, so we will not miss any chance. Hit the thumbs up button really quick if you find the value in this content. The fourth thing that you need to do before you moving to New Brunswick is determine if this market is right for you to buy a house. 
We are currently in the big seller's market. Home price went up 24.5% between 2020 to 2021. We have been seeing multiple offers on existing homes for last couple of years. We are seeing a multiple offer situation for the available listings more and more in New Brunswick. Real estate tips for buyers in the multiple offer situation is that to act first. You should get pre-approved for a loan ahead of time so you are ready to go anytime. No, you are at the disadvantage so when you write an offer, you need to be ready to put your best price with your best term. Be patient. If you find that you keep losing out the house you are interested in, it is crucial to be patient and not to discourage. It is also important to revisit what is most important to you when purchasing a house. Know in the strong seller's market, you might have to make some changes. You might not get everything what you want and I am not by any mean I am to telling you to settle but you might need to make some adjustments. Once you determine where you want to move, you have done your due diligence that the area meets your needs, you determine your expectations are realistic and you know you are ready to enter this insane seller's market. Now you are ready to firming your relocation team. In order to do that, you will need to connect with a local realtor. Later on, you can possibly add a local lawyer, inspector, contractor, etc. Maybe I am a realtor for you or based on what you are watching video, you may determine completely different area is better for you. I am more than happy to connect to my colleague in the other area so you will be in the right hand to start home buying journey. Make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel by hitting the little bell below so you will be the first one to know when I post my new video. I have so much more to tell you about the life and the real estate in New Brunswick. So I will see you at the next video.